see the commander. What's up? What's up? The village looks cool. I commend you on your successful research on the Pokemon living in the Crim Crimson Mirelands. Hey. Your next orders are to begin the survey in the Cobalt Coastlands. Ooh, where is this? I will let you know in advance. There are no Pokemon nobles in the Col Col Cobalt Coastlands. Hmm. Okay. Allow me to explain. Thank you, because I did not know what that meant. We... We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Oh. Now we have reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island. The lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of the members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. What? Two new places? These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this decision of our late Lord's seat. Normally, I entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Okay. The Lordless Island. Mm. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Okay, cool. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Dedison. Okay, you're just fine. It's okay. Think nothing of it. Did think nothing of it. Oh my God, Dedison is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he will sort things out. Thank you for your trust. It's very actually uplifting, motivating. Indeed, Dedison quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness fist first hand. Fist hand. <laughs> my fist hand. You want this? What's up? What's up, Celine? Captain Celine? The next area for you to investigate is the Cobalt Coastlands. It is it is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. Cool, yes. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. Okay, okay, cool. Yes, nice. Let's do that. Let's go, uh... Let's go, let's go check that out. Okay. Leanne, what's up, dude? Ah, if it isn't Dudison. What's up, little man? Though I suppose it's to be expected that I run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? None of your damn business. The Cobalt Coastlands. Uh, or Fire Spit Island. Hmm. Let's, let's say Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Polina's certainly in a bit of a situation there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan I'll sp that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Hmm. Rude. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't air be airing dirty laundry a piece of advice then as an apology for wasting your time some pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power with the right stone you can okay yeah you're telling me about it okay cool thank you man i know this already but it's all good you know you need you need no look you need you need <laughs> you need look no further than cleaver to pr of proof of that okay cool what I'm trying to say is basically this, if you want, if you and the survey coach want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region, then the stones you'll find through Hisu will be very important. There are even tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. Ooh. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. I got some stones right here, man. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Okay, cool, sick, man. Two grit pebbles, all right. That's not what I was expecting. A mysterious pebble that can raise the effort of, okay, even more. At least level six, no greater than level eight. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. You should, and should you have some stones that could help Pokemon evolve? I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time okay cool thank you for thank you for the heads up man let's head out 
Heading outside. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, there it is. Let me, let me just let the, let the webcam go off there. There's, oh, oh, cool. Dude, so like, do we have like two more areas? I feel like we have this area and this area, but I feel like it's only one area. I don't know, man. Hopefully this map gets bigger. It would be actually pretty sick. Um, anyway, let's, let, let's get to this. Oh, damn. Cobalt Coastlands. Damn, this is cool. Ah, uh, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of his zoo. Sea and sky, as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here? I wonder, water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this, po this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Um, let's about Spire Spit Island. Let's do that. Hmm, indeed, Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to search it. I advise you to speak to the fellow clan, Aizken. He is one of the Diamond Clan's wonder wardens and will surely help you find your way. Oh, dude, are we getting our fish? Yo, let's go get our fish. Let's go get our fishy. I want my fishy. Hey, what's up? Arida? Arida? Arida Carry? something in that tree wow what a beautiful song I do love the flute it feels as if the tones carry to the very ends of space but I am here and so are you so now I'm going to focus on everything I have on battling you what the hell I'm game sure very good you have seen the vast space beyond the rift here I come hopefully my Pokemon are healed what's up Glaceon you are a powerful type against my Pokemon which is unfortunate you're level 30 oh you got a little Eevee you got a double battle how fair is this okay you'll you want to fight you want to fight, actually? You want to freaking fight? Take him out. Oh, used quick attack. Um, let's uh, do that again. Let's do... Uh, no, no, no. There we go. Okay, that's... I was pressing the wrong buttons. Quick little leafage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. No, Dartrix. Um. Pikachu. Pikachu. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm reviving my freaking dark chicks. Actually, they're probably gonna revive. Ah, yeah, just let's let's do it. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. I want this. Nice. You got this, Pikachu. Don't you worry. Uh oh. You don't got this. You're definitely dead. I need more grit dust. I need to raise these guys' defense. Um, okay. You want to see a real Eevee? Oh, I bet you're terrified now. Ooh, a critical hit. What are you going to do now? Hey. So unfair, two on one? What the hell? <laughs> I 
Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Allow me to heal your Pokemon, you better. Give me that XP freaking cost roulette as well. Dartrix. Alright, with you, I think I think with you I can be Frank. Frank? I thought your name was Arita. I can I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I ended up with the burdens I bear. Hmm? You see, we have a warden in the coast and a lovely woman named Polina. Uh, but she tends no lord or lady. And she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena... Oh, damn it! But Leon, that's what it was. Uh, uh, we were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true hair. Heir. To his father, the late lord. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true to a true heir. To his father. Okay, cool. Uh with the help of your strength, I think the late lord's hair. Heir. Not hair. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I have to mess up? Would grow into a worthy successor. A successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. Okay, it was Lena. I don't know of anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. Thank you. You'll be f you'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down the hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading down to the ridge. Cool. Cool. Dude, look at this place. Got some Pokemon. Hey, look at that. Oh, I can't remember what your name is. Oh, no, I don't remember what your name is. What kind of Pokemon do we have here? This is going to be exciting to just look around and just see what's here. It's such a big area. Oh, okay. I forgot about you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please give us our sea Pokemon. I would actually love that. Ooh, Growlithe. You're the warden. Oh. <laughs> Sick hairdo. Hush now, settle down. I am Pauline of the Pearl Clan. Who you who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the galaxy team. I heard you aided Cleavor and Lulligan when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet, you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to Cobalt Coast Lands? We have no lord here, much less as frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescue. He was rescuing a young pup, aww, that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess which one of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? I don't know, the small one? Oh, you have quite a good eye. I thought so. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous Lord. Uh, I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine Lord. But witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who accept me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose to come to the Cosense? I'm here to he help the here. 
the air. I'm here to help the air and make for Spitfire Island. Ah, technically both, but I'm here to help the air. Ah, uh, did, did Arita ask you to intervene perhaps? I appreciate a kind gesture truly, but I'm afraid to help this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your person? Oh, we had to go to Fire Spit, okay. A survey of Fire Spit Island. I see there are rumors of places haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need to aid. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basca-Legion. Basca-Legion. I I named. I fucking nailed that one. Basca-Legion. If you wish to cross the sea, you wish you should speak to Iskin, the Warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. Thank you. There's definitely something strange happening on Firespit Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Oh, there's the there's the one we have to quell. Something in there. Lightning is a sign of the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we reach an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship the false image of it. But I digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives on a Aopom Hill. Just past G Jinko Landing, I imagine you'll find him there. He wants to fight. He wants to fight. Let him fight. Anyways, by the way, uh, I did take a little break through the recording to get myself uh, some materials. And we got a ball picks with us too. So yeah, I want a nine tails. I want a nine tails. So yeah, let's uh, head to the opposite side of the island. Actually, I believe I got the camp set up for it. So, oh, uh, you know, we could just fast travel to this one. Why not? Let's do it. Whoops. Oh, wow. Poke. Okay, never mind. We'll run away. All right, here we are. What's up, Bolo? How do you know to be here? Why, well, hello there, Mr. Diddy Sun. Fancy running into you here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? So-so, I guess. No need to be humble. I see you already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles. And when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The one who said the battle against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering... The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from the almighty Sinnoh itself. So we already got did four, huh? Really? Why would they seek to challenge almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Let's, well, let's do our best to find more. Well, I seem to be doing the best. But please don't over-exert, don't over-exert yourself. I hate the, for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. You seem very suspicious, man. I don't really trust you at all. I don't trust him, man. He gives off this bad vibe. I just want to cut his hair. Do do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Hello. So, um... I'm Iskin of of the Diamond Clan. Oh, does he have a, uh, a Galaxy team member with a Solistica flute? Oh, oh you must be Diddyson, right? Yes. H have I done something to warn your visit? You are... Yes. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you give me advance notice in the future. Oh, okay, never mind then. So, um, why are you here? He's just very scared. To... I need... Master Legion's aid. So you you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Well, well, if you insist, then you probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite um, 
Oh, it's uh, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle. Or, or really just impossible, if I'm just being honest. How so? I, I tell you, I have the right materials, but... But then you... Well, you see, this next part is something I can never manage. But you need to catch this Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. Oh, you really want to know? You 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 really don't value your own life, do you? Oh my god. It's d dust clops. Is it dust claw? Dust clops. Oh, even saying his name has filled me with dread. I almost had him, man. I almost had a dust clops. Basket's your favorite food? I'll do it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Well wow, every galaxy team ever is everyone in the galaxy team like you? What nerves aren't just steel they're titanium your nerves it's positively frightening how um, fearless you are the dusk uh i can't even say while well, the pokemon only one eye can be found one of the dreadwood haunt during the night which is getting close to night here Dreadwood haunt is an area it looks like a hand on your map you know where to find the wreck boats okay where to find it okay yeah at the wreck boats i try very hard to avoid the one eye pokemon and so no i got a lot about them you see okay yeah, yeah. Would you like to wait here until night? Yes, I'll wait. Let's get it over with. I'm going to use an Ultra Ball to catch him. He's pretty tough to catch. I want Basilesian, man. Okay, careful. Okay, good. That's not where we're needing to go right now. Got him. We have to. We have to. Okay. Use a great ball. <gasps> okay, okay. I'll fight you then. This club's gonna show up here at any moment, right? Ow. Oh, I tried dodging. All right, Eevee. Um, oh no, this isn't good. Um, Pokemon. Effective, effective, super effective. I don't want to kill him. That's the thing. Shit. Okay, come on, Pikachu. You can do this. No, Pikachu, Jesus. Damn, man. I could try to catch it now, maybe. Come on, Vulpix. Oh, yeah. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Hey, my poor Pikachu. My poor Pikachu, but we got it. So, uh, yeah, let's head back to our mates. Hopefully he can revive my poor little Pikachu. My friend. I have it. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon? Yes. Yes, I do have him. He's right here, my friend. You really brought it? No, don't bring it out. Right. I guess... I guess I gotta do my part. Seeing how uh, determined you are to go get that... Get to that island with Basque Legion. Usually I uh, ask Paulina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me out with this bit. But in this time, I need to help since... Well, since you... 
we're making the snack so you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Yes, well, once I give the signal, you have to, you, ah, you have that dust bobs of yours use its dark pulse. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Could you get a grip? Come on, try again. Oh, now it's anticipation of terror. Where so since we have you do it when I say go. Go. <laughs> the delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion favorite snack is now ready. You obtain the ball of Basque Legion food. Yes. Awesome, 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 awesome. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Then let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. Sounds good. Let's go, let's do it. Let's get Basque Legion, let's swim. It's time to swim. Oh, so many new areas to unlock too. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon we find. Right? Let's do it. Diddy son, I was just waiting for you. Oh, Iskin. 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 <laughs> hey. Oh, Pauline, I thought you said you shouldn't be we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Diddy son can keep a secret. Oh, you two teeing each other? Besides, both I and Growlick pups were eager to meet with a great Basque Legion again. I will. Oh, wait, never mind. They're from different clans. Never mind. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. Let's see it. Come on, Jason. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. Here you go. You threw the ball of Basque Legion food. Oh. Shra, was he, is he mad? The great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. Oh, okay. So, uh, Jason, you should let Basque Legion hear you're playing. Hear you playing. Basically, open his heart and learn well the sound of your playing. Hey, what's up? You received the splash plate. Nice. Water type Pokemon. Now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to the Fire Spit Island. Growl. My congratulations to you, Diddy son. Rawr. <laughs> Paulina, did you want to tell him? Do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before we had a previous lord who rescued the Growlithe pup. During the incident, Iskin and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskin here. I truly adore him, but I know those. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I'll try to meet with Iskin. Uh. Where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. But well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nothing less, after that day I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskin. Nice. And perhaps we should have we should save this discussion for another time after all. Rawr. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest and I'm your, your unlucky charm. Oh my god, this is like Team Rocket, but worse. Thought you spotted the four in the clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen your double. And the mindset says in the clover, you can't pick. Heads, I win, and tails, you lose. You got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Who am I kicking? Whose ass am I kicking today? We are the Misfortune Sisters. Know across the frigid land that hits you, and your luck has just run out. Now ready to hand over that Growlithe. No. What? You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yeah, yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Gengar? You have a Gengar? Oh, what happened here? Oh my god, they snatched one. Thanks for the growl of fools. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the great land of Hisu, we have to have powerful Pokemon by our side. Yeah, you, I see you have a powerful Pokemon. Gengar, that's cool to see. Don't worry, I'll make sure Pup grows up nice and strong. Even make him a lord for you. Let's take the mud to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in the place so miserably hot. Oh, really? What's up, Gengar? <sighs> New mission. No, Growlithe. Don't worry. I'll get him back. What should we do, dear son? This is an emergency, right? But you see, I never, I never actually had a partner battle before. Please, dear son, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place nobody would bother them. And the only place around the Cobalt Coastlands that seems suitable is Firespit Island. Oh, that's... Now that you have Basilisian to help you cross the water, you can reach the island too. Please, could you find it in you to help Paulina? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. We'll make our way to Firespit Island then as well. No, Paulina, you should wait here and keep the little growl safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though I'm not sure if I want to go to the island with lightning and bandits and... No, come, Diddyson. No time to think. We must go now. <laughs> you should also know that Basilisha can jump from the water surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Basilisha back too? Oh my god. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit I'm still a little scared. Do you think... Do you think you could head over first? Sure, why not? I can do that. You can now call Basilisian to ride across the water on his back. Oh, <laughs> sick. Oh my god, let's see this. Do I just walk? I'm so confused. How do I call Basilisian? Do I just walk into the water? Oh, right there. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Woo! Diddy son! Oh my god. Beautiful. Freaking amazing.